Welcome back to Studio D. Well, even now, after becoming the Republicans' presumptive nominee for president, Donald Trump continues to make waves. The latest Donald dust-up is brought to you by Powers Ginsburg uh, Elementary School in Fresno, California. School officials told nine-year-old Logan Autry that he had to take his Make America Great Again baseball cap off because it was giving other kids negative emotions. Aw. Autry is standing up for himself and refusing to take the hat off because, quote, it's my favorite hat. The First Amendment says I can wear my hat. Yes, Trump taught him that. That's right. Mm -hmm. The nine-year-old got the hat last week for 20 bucks at a Trump rally in California. He even got to meet Trump, and when Logan wore the autographed hat to school, his classmates started making fun of him. The school dress code allows students to wear hats outside of the classroom, but if they become distracting, the school can ask a student to stop wearing it. And just like the defiant and outspoken Trump, Autry plans to continue wearing the cap, and I applaud him. I don't support Trump, but I support the kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think kids should be reading something like that and, and being very upset about it. We do have freedom of speech. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't say build a wall. Uh, you know, it says make America great again. Right. And if he likes Trump, I don't I don't see what the big deal is. You also have to consider those kids that are probably upset. It, it's coming from the parents as well mm -hmm. or their family members who are upset for, you know, what's going on in the, in the political realm right now. And for them to get upset, it is distracting. So I can see why they're asking him to take the hat but off. Anything can make somebody upset. If, yeah. if I wear Kim Kardashian hat and you hate a Kardashian at school and it's distracting you because you don't like Kim Kardashian, like, yeah. as, do I take my hat off now? They're going to ask you to take the hat well, every, off. Everybody yeah. Every, but I'm saying it would yeah. Be, if that's the case, then it would be everything. Everything is under that same umbrella. It's mm -hmm. either you like it or you don't. But I don't. If it was just, I could see if it were breasts, you know, like <laughs> on the hat that you need oh, to take. Oh, I was like, breasts. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> that kid's gonna wear breasts to school. Let me get more specific. <laughs> Let me get more specific. Yeah. If it were on the Please. hat, yeah. I could yeah. see like take that hat off. Well, yeah, that's, that's distracting. Offensive. Right. But a, a quote, that, that's something as simple as that, I don't see. That can't deal. be. A, I mean, I can see it could be offensive to the kids. And but it, say they're all Warriors fans, and some kid wears a LeBron jersey to school, that could be seen as distracting. Like right. they've had cases like that where somebody wears an opposing team's jersey, you know, to school, and everybody's mm -hmm. a blah 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 fan. Right. Well, in Fresno, it is a higher Hispanic population, yeah. so yeah. I can see why the kids are getting upset because maybe they have you know sour feelings for mm -hmm. what he's saying sure. about Mexicans. The, the Hispanics there are Mexicans, most of them. Yeah. You know, I've been to Fresno. I, I know po the population there. And so I can see why they're getting upset. Trump, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 on this gonna one. Trump's going to invite this kid out to like some big soiree or something now. Too. Oh, of course. Yeah, he's going to be on stage. He's going to be on stage right there so this with This is the future him. of America. <laughs> like, right oh, here. God. Yeah. He's my vice president. Gross. Well, that little guy might be interested in this story. Uh, comedian Max Goodrich wanted to know what it would be like if the Donald created his own superhero action figure to fight against the heartless Hillary <laughs> and Robo Obama. Take a look. It's the all-new Donald Trump action figure. Whoa. I'm really rich. Unleash the power of the smartest, richest, and most powerful man. Wow, look at his normal size hand. Heartless Hillary is mounting an attack. Donald Trump's ideas are dangerously incoherent. Hillary, you're fired. <laughs> You got Trump, but wait, it's the evil Robo-Bama. In politics and in life, ignorance is not a virtue. He doesn't have a clue. Donald Trump saves the day. Make America great again with the all-new Donald Trump action figure. Paid for by Mexico. Oh, did you see that at the bottom? It's like, no. paid for by Mexico? Yeah. Well, that's where it was probably made. Oh, if they're going to make it true, they need to give him stop. those little brawny hands and a gut. Because that is not what he looks like. <laughs> no, and crazy hair. Yeah. They, they should have made the hair, tamed like, hair soft and so that you could actually play grip. with it. <laughs> <laughs> it like flips back over. Yeah. <laughs> Instead you of like Kung Fu grip, it's Kung Fu hair. You can slap and beat yes. your enemies with it. Yeah. Well, they took Obama's gray out, so I guess we're even. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> All right. I know we didn't say anything about Obama. We're like, I'll leave the president. He's <laughs> fine. He's fine. It, it, it's funny, though, in, the, in the, the four years since the last election, the internet and social media has come along so far, and video, people being able to create their own videos. I'm really interested to see over the next six months or however long this process is going to go. Go, might go beyond actually November. the election, well, yeah, yeah, beyond sure. into January. Mm -hmm. uh, what people come up with, like this comedian came up with this, you know, to create an action figure and go through a whole video thing. What else are we going to start seeing? Like this, this crazy creative. Well, era with Trump went. supporters, you never know. I'm sure we'll see a lot more. Mm -hmm. Instead of action figures, we'll probably start seeing video games. Yeah. You know, you can start creating video games on your um, like applications on your phone. Don't give them ideas. Jim. Yes, no, I, I, I feel like ideas. it's already in the mix. <laughs> I swear, with you saying that. We're just trying to make America great again. That's oh, all. Oh, Matt. That's all we're trying to do. Oh, I'm going to need you <laughs> to go to the other side. I can't. But not to Mexico, clearly. Deal. Well, because the wall's going to be there. I won't be able oh, to get there. Oh, look at that. Who are you today? You know, actually, guys, I was, I was reading that. that. 
<laughs> Are you under there? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Well, wait. I'll be able to get back because I'll have my passport, so I can go in and out of the wall as much as I want. You are silly right now. Just like, we're we're, we're like go, fired up right here. I can go where I want. No, it's true. And you know what? Actually, I, I read an article that said um, the way he was going to make them pay for the wall, like Mexicans pay for the wall, is by sending money back and taxing the money via Western Union. I was thinking, that is brilliant. That is but clever. It's really clever. That's, see? Trump, great ideas. I don't Fantastic know if it's going to happen, though. You're going to, like, know. adopt those mannerisms on accident. Happen. Later, when Studio D returns, Michelle Obama's using her last days in the White House to hold a summit that proves girls do rule the world. Matt? We'll bring you the details. <laughs> Plus, Matt's favorite go-to fast food could have some serious health concerns. The details on why this healthy alternative is actually packing on the pounds for you. Stay with us. We'll be back.